Welcome to the Raymacha official documentation. Raymacha is a universal package of the unique rendering technique called Raymaching, which is the subcategory of raycasting. In this documentation, you will learn how to use the package, where to use the package, and I will show you some tricks and tips. So let's set up the Raymacha. Go to the window Raymacha and press Setup Raymacha. And it's done. Now you can start creating Raymatch objects. Let's create a few of them. The main difference between default renderer and Raymatch is that the objects behave very organically and you've got an infinite potential in fractals mixture of booleans, operations, and so on. Let's check out the essential components. Main camera will always remain the essential ray merge objects, which manages wall renderer. The main camera contains RM Master, RM Mapping Master, and RM X Converter. RM Master is a general and main system of the wall package. It manages rendering, visualization, shading, and operations. The system is highly required for the other components to make the Raymacher works. It's divided into four sections. Render section, visual section, shading section, and operations. Render section manages essentials of the Raymacher renderer as a distance and quality. Visual section manages how the result will look, and does the color, emission, additional texture, background and smoothness. Shading section manages how environment and lighting will behave. The section allows you to switch between two different renderers and does the default rendering and flood rendering. Other options in the shading section are lighting, shadows and reflections. And the operation section manages global operation which will affect all exist Raymature objects in the scene. It's a loop operation which will loop all objects in the scene by the specific tiling value. RMX Converter is one of the essential systems that converts user interaction into shared language, specifically to the object buffer. Once the user hit the refresh or recompile button, the X Converter will look for all Raymature objects and will recalculate their values. After all required processes, the code will be written into previously mentioned object buffer, which the core shader uses as a source of all remarching objects. I will talk more about the X converter later. RM Mapping Master manages all existing remarching objects in the scene. The system refreshes all values and transforms. Also, the scene setup and the ray merge refresh happens here, in this system. If you would like to change the maximum ray merge objects in the scene, RM Mapping Master allows you to do that by changing the volume and pressing the button Change Maximum Objects Only. As the package might not be stable on some computers, you might run into unexpected issues with the renderer or some objects won't show up. The problem should be resolved by pressing the Recompile Shader button. This will, again, refresh wall system and shaders without losing any existing Raymature objects. If you would like to reset the wall system into default settings and remove all existing Raymature objects, press Clear and set up scene. As you already noticed, all Raymatch objects contain RM object component, which manages Raymatch objects essential data. The component contains four parameters that correspond to the object size, length, depth, and morph. Each remerging object has a unique ID and bore name, which are defined right after the creation, or if I would like to be more technical, in awake function. Now let's explore some fractals. Create one remerging object and enable a fractal option. Please remember that if you make any changes on external operations or fractal op options, 
The recompile process is required by pressing the recompile button. Let's choose the first fractal called Apollonian and hit the recompile button to see changes. These two options are the only options that cannot be changed at runtime. Once you choose the object to be fractal, it will be always fractal at runtime. As you can see, the object changed to fractal and we've got a plenty of potential ahead. Each fractal has specific parameters that affect the fractal shape and look. You can explore more fractals by yourself. As I said, it has a bunch of potential. Let's jump into boolean operations. Each rematch object contains two types of operations, internal operations and external. Internal operation is called fragment, which makes the object more blobby. External operations allow you to operate with specific objects by subtracting and intersecting them. As I said before, once you set the external operation, it can be changed at runtime, because the shader needs to be recompiled. You can change all the values, but you can't change the operation target, and you can disable the external operation at runtime. Also, this option has an infinite potential. Let's explore more advanced features, mostly for CG programmers and advanced users, of how to change the object shapes and how to change the object buffer in X-Converter. Select the main camera and scroll down to the X-Converter component. As you can see, the component contains two options that allow us to see the source of specific files. Let's enable the first one, object buffer. The object buffer is a source code of all rematch objects that can be created at runtime. If you won't do any changes, that makes the converter recompile the shader, you can edit the source code by yourself with any fractal formulas, new shapes, blend shapes, and so on. The second one is an essential source code of a mature shapes. You can see the exactly four parameters that are used in RM object component for size, length, depth, and morph. These parameters are used to control specific shape and you can also use them to create your own mature shape if you know the correct formula. This can be changed anytime, it still remains the same. For example, I already made an additional shape that can change the current second shape, a torus. Let's change the shape C for shape D. If you change the more value of any object, you can see it's morphing between capsule and torus. It's fairly modular, so you have again a plenty of potential ahead. Let's see how far can we go with the ray matcher and what I would be able to make as a developer, but also as an artist. Let's say I need some interaction between user and ray matcher object. I would like to change the object size, depth, height and fragment operation at runtime. I will need to create some UI elements such as a toggle and slider. Assign the specific raymatcher object to the UI element with parameters you would like to change and let's see. Nice, it works as expected. Also, I would like to make it much more fancy. So let's change the default renderer into flat rendering.
much better. As we already know, we can make some external operations on Raymerger objects such as subtraction and intersection. I will need at least one object that will affect the object number 2. Switch to subtraction operation, assign object number 2 and hit the compile button. As expected, the object number 1 affects the object number 2 by the specific smoothness value. But what if I would like to make an operation between fractal and object? That's definitely possible. So let's create, uh, let's say, a fractal planet. All we need is to change the first object's external operation to none and the second object's operation to subtraction. Also, enable is fraction option. Choose any fractal you would like and hit the compile button. And voila, we've got a wonderful fractal planet. There are many parameters you can play around which will affect the object looked and color. Also, you can play around with the renderer settings, flood rendering, reflection, lighting, shadows and more. The Raymacher is a very powerful package full of potential and intuitive tools which allow you to create incredible cinematic real-time scenarios environments and all organic creatures in professional quality. This technology offers you even more features than you think. Also, notice that the Raymerger is interactive with the surrounding default Unity objects, but there are some restrictions and limitations in performance and platform support, so please read the official documentation very carefully. I will repeat, please read the official documentation carefully. If you have any problems, issues or suggestions, please do not hesitate and contact me on my official page. Thank you for your attention and I hope this video documentation helped you as you expected. Good luck!